so we're just going to do a very quick episode today because the problem is is that I've got to fix up my shop database before I can actually do it. Let's explain a move on this. So today is gonna to be fixing it. Now I say the word fixing with very careful consideration because it's not so much fixing it as it is um just making sure there's no hiccups. So a big thing we gotta do first is that this was a big error, so we have to go fix it by these. That's a really big thing. Just make sure they all have their unique ID. And then we order them properly. We can apply all these, so actually we can apply all this. And then we're gonna start it. Now there are a few problems, but we're gonna be going through this. Um Yes, we don't want to do this. That was another thing I was doing. Uh, I was just trying to make multiple methods because the problem was, is the systems, uh, I wouldn't even call this uh, fixing, I would say it's optimizing. We're actually optimizing because every time we buy an item, what we're doing is we're actually, as you hear, we're actually refreshing every single panel. That's a really big problem because means every time we're buying an item, we're creating like a whole new set of items so if we create a hundred items at the beginning no one's really gonna care but if every time you buy an item or every time you try to buy an item you create another hundred after destroying a hundred like that's gonna be really annoying like i mean let's see we got a thousand items plus a bunch of recommended plus a bunch of you know under all items you can like have just separate categories if we load that all up at the start it's gonna be some fun pretty simple. Now the only point of this system however maybe is that you may argue oh, well, if I need this item and then this item but you ha have to buy this first item first then it won't really work but I don't know why that would happen so I'm just gonna say there's no problems with the system I mean I can't even think why we need to add these items so basically under here we have something called update database and here we're saying we're refreshing this we even said a little note here don't need this so we're going to remove that. And then we're going to go, well, we need to buy an uh, item. That's fine. Refresh next window. This is fine. This. This is going to be done once. So we're fine with this. Now we're just going to under our start function. Once we've done everything else. Uh, actually, well, I mean, we did it after the database, right? So we're just going to do... Basically, after after update the address, there's a few other things I do want to do. Um, I do want to get these two items and make sure that they're actually having a build into. Yes, build into new item. Yes. But that is a slight problem. The thing is, our build into doesn't really work that way. Well, um, but we're going to do this anyway. Now, what you'll find is this should work. I have given myself off some design gold. It works. Now, if we buy this, you see this price does change. But obviously it doesn't remove the item. So we do want to remove this uh this. And we do want to remove these. There's some debugs. Now we do have a oh wait, what? Oh, because I made a change and it's like oh my gosh, something happened. It doesn't like when you make changes. Um, and then we can restart it. Here we go. So if we buy this item, this goes cheaper, but why doesn't it replace it? And why doesn't it go back to full price? This is saying to update database. 
I believe. Um, we're saying that nothing is bought, and then we're saying items are bought. So what's happening is it's staying like that because it's recognizing that the item is being bought. So all we have to do is just remove the item. Uh, yeah, see, this is where we remove the item. Now that could just be because we haven't put an other name into. Yeah, it is probably. Let's hope this works. It didn't remove it. <laughs> okay, it requires test item. We understand that. Check that the name's right. Test item. Test item. Okay. We understand it requires that. So what we're doing is we're going through the number of items, obviously. This is where we're adding it, and then essentially, if you require other items, then remove those items. Okay. We're checking if the other items of the other name. Where are we getting the other name from? Of item name to acquire. What could be happening is that we actually have to refresh everything once we acquire an item. We are going to close that and open up our. Oh yeah, because it's not a proper dictionary. Um, so we're going for the requirements dot length, and we're getting the item ID. Ah, uh, check the item inventory ID, which is obviously given. And we're saying to the play inventory to remove the item. But why it's not removing the item is placing in the play inventory. So we're giving the ID and we're saying remove it. So what is probably happening, if I was to guess, is that it's this whole um it's it's not we can definitely do something here to check it it's doing right. So we're gonna do like log this is gonna say inventory ID, right? Uh yeah. Really long line of code. Just to get a single ID. But you'll see how it works. Oh, okay, so it's it's an inventory problem. That's interesting. Good to know. Um, where is that inventory ID? Yeah, there we go. We are seem to move number one. And it's not respecting that. Which is a concern. We're saying, hey, move item number one. It's going, okay. And it's saying not to move item number one. For no apparent reason. We have a look at this and see if this fixes it. Why is it minus one? Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Um, 
So we're going to trace this back. So items. This is all a list of all our items. I'm getting a list of from that the items of items. Okay, so we're accessing the item name. Okay, that's fine. And then we're accessing the requirements. And then we're accessing from there the inventory ID. Mm. Which should be proper. Because when we're adding items, we're giving them inventory IDs. The item should be receiving these inventory IDs. I think it's actually a shop fault. Um, but supposedly you can't see the list of items. We can't just see whether or not the item IDs are to be set. Oh, we may want to set it in the shop. Say, hey, this item's in this slot, which we shouldn't be doing. What's actually probably wrong is how we're moving it. I don't like how we're moving it at all. We're going for all the requirements and we're deleting them, right? So why don't we say to Empty Manager just delete this item? So we're giving an item ID. So why don't we just say, go through all your items and find the item that matches this and then delete it. Um, why don't we just say that? We can say move, uh, say public void move a string item. Now there's a problem because we have to go see whether or not the item's in inventory. As a general. Because here we're saying the item to inventory ID. So whether or not we say, oh, we have a bought thing, right? So we, so we can tell whether or not this bought. So we check whether or not the item is bought to add it. If it is bought, then what we do is we go, hey, essentially remove string item, and then we have to give it a string, which is going to be dot name. I don't know, I've, I've done nothing, so that's useless, but there's no errors, and then we actually go move string in the item. Since you're going to be saying this, let's consider with no I uh, where what this we can go four inch i is equal to zero, i is less than uh, let's go up a boolean. And then I is I is the what uh um, tree dot length I plus plus and then if our tree of I dot name is equal to item name then our tree exists is equal to true. Oh, it's nothing. So we're just, just double checking if it exists. But it's not so much actually exists, but you also run an item ID. So, so basically, what we do is if we, it's more actually, I'm actually going to make this an integer and we're going to make this equal to zero. So if it's true, then it's equal to our entry of i dot inventory ID. 
and then a and if actually exists is greater than zero. Oh, this won't remove our, our first time slot. I don't know why I'm checking here. It's on YouTube. Um, then we're going to say, hey, move item. And we're going to pass it actually exists. Um, can I explicitly state that? If our inventory, if the name, oh, damn it, I feel stupid sometimes. Oh man, and then we're just going to see this 16 minutes in. We should finish really, really soon. Oh my gosh, it worked! And is that really a big bug? Which I felt I fixed, but obviously, I haven't. No, I don't know why it causes this bug. Because I click this and it's a number four, it should have a price. It does, but the current price is zero, which isn't true. Um our name dot substring of zero. I should just return the first one. Um, do I actually get a copy of ID? We'll see. I see how it does it because. What I'm trying to do is it works with everything else, but what I really want to do is get substring and come how substring works. We should be able to get it there. Uh, I can't remember which one. This one. So what we want to do is now that we want to search substring. Ah, uh, I think you have to use damn it. Substring uh C sharp sample. Um, let's go down zero three. Oh, okay. So here's zero. Remember, I just want the first one. This should only return the first one. It works. The current press is zero, which is not right. It should be zero. Only one. This oh, so it's a current press that's wrong here. Um, what is this current press? No. We want to move that current press. We don't want to do this, but we want to say ID. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was super weird. There we. No, we don't. <laughs> Damn it, what's wrong now? Uh, presses element 
Oh, wait, what? Element one. Uh, what's happening is that we're pressing two of them. And that's not what we want. This is for switching, right? I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, do we care? Can you actually delete items using this? That's fun. Hmm. Hmm. Because this thing is weird, Mark, as you can see, this uh, press. Because it's trying to switch it, which is not what we want. This one I'll be able to sell items. Oh, I'm just saying for them to sell. Why are we. Oh, we should be using select two. Uh, that's why. Don't know where we're getting select one from though. Uh, select. So there must be a button. Oh, there we go. Some of them have select two, some don't. Oh. Like, because when I was running through this, I was going, why are some of them working and some aren't? And that's your answer. Maybe it is, or maybe I'm just totally stuffing up. Now you shouldn't get any presses when you do it. Um. Beautiful, we can sell that. Alright, so gorgeous. Um, so now if we buy an item, let's so unselect it, and upgrade this. This goes back up to full price. And we can do this however much we want. <laughs> it's so many hours, that's another bug. Now, it's just we create this. So we buy an item, we buy this. We do it again, and what happens is it bugs out. Uh, inventory says Oh, it works again. What? Okay, let's get back in. Yes. I'm spending gold by much not buying the item. So you only have two items. To move in the gold. So what's happening is I'm clicking my and the shop database is going, okay, you're buying this item. And then it's going, okay, well let's buy it. But the problem probably is, is since it requires, it checks whether or not you bought it, which makes no sense. Is there a reason why this should be my camp? 
It's not like some reasons hit me in the face, right? It's pretty simple. It's just I buy an item again and it should do the same thing. Yeah. What's happening is it's trying to buy the second item. Debug dot log. Have we tried log? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm seeing what's happening. Um. That's all fine. As you see, it's making the item name. But adding a whole new item just some stuff out. This should work. Create, create instance from. But the thing about this. Is it's not having the same amount of item that's put. It's when I upgrade an item, if I try to buy that same item again, the system allows me, apparently. I don't know, there's so many free bugs. Oh my gosh. Oh, my headache. Too many bugs. I'm gonna come back and bug squash. After I mean, I'll probably spend 20 hours bug squashing, I come back and show you the bug errors and how to fix them.